Hello everyone, I am doing a review on the Wakako series, hi, and the clips that you're gonna see is out in the woods because I made coffee on my hike which was really nice but it was really windy and so I'm not sure if you could hear me so I'm just gonna uh, do the beginning portion at least like introducing everything here so that you can hear me and it's not just all wind noise okay so the first product is the Pippa Mocha which is used for like just a quick brew of coffee you can make cold brew with it you can use it as a thermos just to carry your water which is usually what I do and this is Eloise <laughs> hi hi but I usually use it as a thermos to carry water um, for my nano presso, which I'll talk about in a minute. So this this tumbler comes with a lid, and then there's a scoop and a little brush for when you get grounds where they're not supposed to be. <laughs> and then there's a measuring thing, like measuring funnel, and then the little basket that you put the grounds in. So you just pop this off, stick the funnel on top, use the scoop, and pour it in there. It's pretty easy. Um, the funnel is really nice because it, it's a little bit wider and there's less chance of spilling or just making a mess in general. Um, and then you stick this back on. Then you fill this up with boiling water. Put this in here and it will slowly go to the bottom and diffuse the coffee into the water. Give it a couple minutes, let it brew, and then you just twist this up until it gets to the bottom, and then you just pull it off. I will say that it's been a bit tiring to screw this up, if we're being honest. Um, and it brings the little basket with it, so then you should have a cup of coffee. say that that's pretty strong coffee, not gonna lie. So I brought some uh, milk and creamer, so I'm gonna pour some of that in there because I don't like just straight black coffee. And now there's pine needles in here, that's okay. I think it's pretty good, honestly. Um, it could be a little sweeter and a little bit warmer and I think that's because it took so long to get out here that by the time I got to this spot the boiling water wasn't quite boiling. It was still pretty warm but not as warm as it should be but I quite like it. I, I like this one. Okay. I'm not a big um, hot coffee kind of gal. so. Like I said, I usually use this as a thermos to carry water for my other product, but you can make cold brew with it, and that is something that I haven't done, but I'm sure it will taste great. I mean, as far as the flavor and the overall product of the coffee that's brewed, I think it does a great job. It's just I'm not a big fan of that kind of coffee. Keep that in mind, but I do like the product. And the Pippa Mocha retails for around $47, so it's quite spendy, but it is a coffee maker, and it's a thermos that keeps it warm, so if, so I think it's worth it if you're that kind of, if you enjoy coffee, like if you enjoy brewed coffee. So the next thing is the Nanopresso, and this is by far my favorite coffee item of all time. It is better than the espresso machine that sits on my kitchen counter. 
Um, it is really small and pretty easy to use. So this one, it comes with a cup. Oh. Comes with a cup that's on the bottom. So this is where you can just point this to put the espresso into. Um, it's nice that they have that in mind so you don't have to bring a random cup with you uh, solely for the espresso. Otherwise you could just bring a mug with you or a travel. Otherwise you can just bring a travel mug with you and use that. Um, that's typically what I do but if you're looking just to make the espresso shot and then pour it into something, they thought of it and it comes attached. So from there, this is the water basket and a scoop comes in there as well as a little brush. And again, that's to use for getting the little grounds out and cleaning, which is really nice. From there, you take the top off and there's the basket for the grounds. And just like the Pippa Mocha, there's a little um, hack for it and getting it in here. So the scoop, you fill it up, not all the way because there also be overflowing in the basket, but you fill it up and then you stick the basket on top, flip it over, give it a little shake to even it out, and then you'll have it in there without any spills which is really nice and that was really well thought out and I appreciate that. So from there you, um, so this is what it looks like empty. Um, from there you put the basket in the top and then screw this back on. You fill this up with boiling water and there's a line in there that tells you where to fill it to. And typically I would just carry the boiling water in this, um, pour it in there. And typically I would just use this to pour the water in there if I'm on the go, but if I'm just at home, I'll use my kettle um, that's just on the counter. Otherwise I'll just, so fill this up with boiling water, attach it to the bottom, screw it on, and make sure that it's tight because you don't want boiling water all over your hands. And make sure that it's tight because you don't want boiling water all over your hands. It hurts, trust me, I've had it happen to me. So from there, you take this and unlock it and it'll pop out like that. So pop out like that and then you flip it over and point it at the cup. And then you'll take a couple pumps and you pump about one one pump per second basically and the first couple ones are to build up the pressure that's in inside the little machine here um, and then from there it will give you espresso it will make you from there it will make you an espresso shot and you'll know that it's done when there's no more pressure on the button um, and it's super easy to push down that's when you're done. So how I do it is I fill it almost to the top. Not quite to the top because it'll overfill and that's no good. So then what you do next is you take this, uh, the basket, put it over the top of the scoop, make sure it's secure, and then flip it over. It's so much easier and I just shake it to flatten it out a little bit but it's so much easier than trying to just pour it in there because you you never you never not spill you you will always spill at least I do um, so then you have it in there take the back of the bas the, the scoop push it in a bit and there you go so from there you take this and from the inside, you just put it in like that, and it should just stick out a little bit. It's always going to be in the middle, there's a little groove for it to fit there. And so then you take the top of it and screw that on. So now I just have to fill the bottom with boiling water, so I'll pour this in here.
make sure it's tight, and then put the lid. And the way you're supposed to pump it is about one pump per second. This retails for $65 on its own. Um, if you want to get a nice hard case for it, it is $80 total. Um, I did not get that, but it's totally fine. I don't think it's really needed unless it's going in a backpack that is full of other things and could get broken, but I haven't had an issue with that. Something I really recommend is getting this NS adapter. So. NS is short for Nespresso. Basically, it's you use those little tiny pods instead of the K cups that are big. You use the little ones for, made for the uh, Nespresso. There's knockoff versions. There's a Starbucks version that is from Nespresso that is probably my favorite. It's really good, but it makes the cleanup so much easier and it is amazing. So. You just get one of those pods, stick it in here. So actually, so instead of having this and the basket for the ground, you take that out and put this little basket in. You stick the pod in, close this, and repeat it with, and repeat the same thing, just putting water in here and flipping it over, opening it up and doing that. So. I definitely prefer the little pods. You can get recyclable ones, so there's not so much waste with it. So it's really nice for cleanup. You just take the pot out and there's no real cleaning. You just have to rinse it out, basically. But with the basket, you'd have to bring coffee out there with you. Otherwise, fill it up beforehand. Um, it could get a little bit messier that way. I haven't, I don't know. The NS adapter is so much easier and it's great. I love it so much. But I love the Nano Presso. It is a must-have for adventurous who love coffee. Like it is so good. Like I said, it's better than the one that sits on my counter and is big. Like this little thing is incredible. Um a disclaimer though is this morning it would not work for me. Something with the insides here. Um, the pressure is messed up and I tried cleaning it out and I contacted them and haven't heard back yet. Um, it was the holiday weekend so uh, their response times might be a little bit slower but I will update you in the description if I hear back from them and if there's a solution that they have. Um, I'm really bummed about it. I've used it probably 20 times I think um, and it should last way longer than that there shouldn't be this issue so that is incredibly disappointing I just wanted to let you know that because if I was purchasing something I'd want to know if there was something wrong with it hopefully they will just send me a new one or have a solution maybe it's a common problem I looked on their I looked on their website and there wasn't any solution for it so um, we'll see what they say about that. It is super disappointing to have this not working properly because it will either not build up pressure or the pressure will be insanely hard that like I can barely press it down. Like I can't press it down and Ben could hardly press it down. And obviously that's not good. And then um, coffee was coming back into the water basket which should never happen. It should just remain water in here. So, hopefully it's just a simple fix and they will help me out here. Like I said, it will be in the description if there's a solution, if I heard back from them. Um, so we'll see. I don't think that's very common. There's, def there's defects in any product that you can get. There's a chance of it not working, but 
it's how the company handles that situation that's important to me. So hopefully it's a good one. Um, The NS adapter is $20, um, which I think is totally worth it, and you should definitely get this, um, unless you prefer the basket and the different flavored coffee um, grounds, because I know some people can be really particular about that. I'm not. I, I, I'm a coffee snob, but not really. Like, It takes a lot for me to not like a coffee, <laughs> so... Anyway, I hope this was helpful and you have a better understanding of how they work and if you want to get one, it made it more clear. It's super easy to use both of these products and I was sent both of them to take pictures for them and for the company just to be transparent with you, um, but they don't know that I'm making this video and I doubt that they want me to tell you that <laughs> it wasn't working this morning. So I'm just being honest and wanting to help people out because I know if I was going to be spending $70 on something, I'd want to know everything about it. Um, and I'm a huge coffee lover, so I might do more reviews. I don't know. This coffee I made with my Jot Concentrate, like the limited edition, I think it's called like Wonderland. Incredible. Um, I do have an affiliate link for the Wakako products. If you want to shop to them, I think I get a little bit of a commission, um, but you definitely don't have to. And then, might as well, the Jot Coffee, you can use, put it on the screen here because I don't remember what it is. Um, I don't get anything from the Jot Coffee, it's just I really like it. <laughs> so, might as well help you save money on it. Um, what else? I think that's it. Like it if this was helpful for you, um, or you, if you just liked it, subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.